Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Bonnie and Blythe, and today we're talking about 10 really weird things that happen with newborn babies. Okay, so pregnancy and birth in general is just a wild ride. It's a miracle, it's fantastic, but it's also strange and a little bit gross, let's be honest. So today I wanted to tell you guys about 10 things that kind of weirded me out the first time I saw my newborn babies, but are totally and completely normal. So baby Dean, our ninth baby, is two weeks old right now, and we are just loving him. He's so stinking cute. He's been an angel baby, sleeps really, really well, and everyone loves him. But I wanted to share with you guys a couple of things that can weird out a new mom and make you wonder if maybe there's something a little bit wrong with your baby. Don't worry, if one of these things pops up in your newborn, it is totally and completely normal. You may or may not see every one of these things in your newborn baby. You may only see two or three. I've seen all of these at some point during my mothering career of the last 14 years. Um, but just be aware that it's totally normal and not to be concerned. As a side note though, if something is still kind of weighing on your mom conscience, even if it's listed here, go ahead and call your doctor. Just ask them if it's normal. Put your mama heart at ease. You guys ready to hear them? Okay, number one. First of all, we have to realize that newborn babies, before they come out of your body, have a fluid in their lungs, right? Amniotic fluid, they're not breathing air. So as soon as they come out and take their first breath, they've gotta get all that gunk out of their lungs. The birth process, a vaginal birth that is, does a really good job of squeezing all that fluid out of their lungs, but sometimes there's a little bit left. So what I've noticed in my newborn babies is sometimes there's a little bit of coughing those first couple of days, and sometimes some spit up that kind of grosses you out. Sometimes it's like bubbly, kind of maybe even mucusy. Don't worry about it, it's totally normal, they're just clearing out their lungs. And sometimes they can cough and even throw up after a feeding because they're getting that gunk out of their lungs. But don't worry about it, this shouldn't last more than a day or two. Number two, newborn babies have really, really flexible and soft fingernails, okay? So when your newborn baby comes out of you, you may even see the fingernails be a little bit long, but bent over and like attached to the top of their finger. It's really weird when you see it the first time. But don't worry, they gradually just come off the top of the fingernail and then you can clip them or whatever. Now clipping a newborn's fingernails can be super nerve wracking because they move erratically and it's really easy to clip the top of their finger, which I've totally done and makes you really, really, makes you feel really, really bad. So my recommendation is to nibble them off. I don't know if what your doctor would say about this, but it's worked really, really well for me. I just take the little finger in my mouth and peel it off with my teeth because it's super, super soft, the nails, and then they don't scratch their face and I don't worry about cutting their fingers. So that's just a pro mom tip. <laughs> Okay, number three, this one is a little bit weird, but be aware that you have a lot of extra hormones running through your body when you're pregnant, right? And this can affect the genitals of your new baby. Super weird, right? That means that if you have a little boy, sometimes their testicles are really swollen, sometimes their nipples are a little bit bigger, and I've even heard, although I haven't seen it in my own babies, that baby girls can have like a little tiny mini period, and you can see blood in their diaper. It's a strange biology is weird. Don't worry about that. All that stuff clears itself up as the hormones are ejected from your baby's body, but be aware of this strange phenomenon at the beginning. Number four, baby's first couple of poops are super gross. They look like a sticky black tar and they're almost impossible to wipe off your poor baby's bum. So the first tip with this one is make sure you change poopy diapers immediately because the longer it sits on their poor little bum, the harder it is to wipe off. And number two, just don't get freaked out. It's basically your baby just ejecting whatever goop is in their system in utero. I don't know exactly what it is, but before they get that breast milk in them, they have this tarry, gross looking poop. Again, biology, weird. After about day two or three, once your breast milk comes in, or maybe even sooner with a bottle fed baby, you'll start to see normal poops. And that being said, another side note about that is sometimes breastfed babies do not poop for a long time. Sometimes they'll poop multiple times a day and sometimes they won't poop for like a week or even two. Every doctor I've ever talked to tells me this is totally normal for breastfed babies, but it can be a little bit unnerving. So my twins, when they were newborns, each of them did not poop for at least 10 days a piece for the first maybe four or five months of their life. Now, I wasn't complaining because can you imagine multiple poopy diapers from two babies? Blowouts galore. I'm glad we didn't have that, but it was a really strange thing to get used to. So be aware of that, totally normal. Number five, those poor little umbilical cords as they dry up and get ready to fall off can smell a little funky. Now this is something that actually had never happened to any of my babies until this one, until baby Dean, my ninth baby. All the kids were holding him and they were like, He's poopy, he stinks, he smells bad. And I check in his diaper and it was totally clean, but they were right, he smelled weird, like kind of rancid. It was the belly button. His little belly button before he lost the cord just smelled stinky, like it was rotting or something. And I brought it up to the midwife, she said it was totally normal and was actually surprised I hadn't seen it before. So FYI, you can be more informed than me 
If your kid's umbilical cord starts to stink, it's normal. Who knew? And that leads us into number six, which is that the umbilical cord and the belly button area takes quite a bit of a while to heal. So I think most of my babies, somewhere between a week to two weeks, maybe around 10 days, they lose that, um, that leftover umbilical cord. But anytime their little onesie rubs against it or you're holding them like that, it can bleed a little bit. So don't be freaked out if you see goopy stuff on their onesie or their pajamas or spots of blood here and there. It just takes a long time to heal. Your doctor can tell you if there's anything else you should be doing to it, but most of the time they say don't touch it. Number seven is baby acne. So this usually doesn't happen for a couple of weeks, maybe two or three weeks into baby's life, sometimes even longer, but they'll actually start to get little teeny tiny pimples on their face and it's kind of sad. So I'd like to try to schedule my newborn pictures before that. <laughs> But the trick is to just don't touch it. Even if you're a picker, just leave it alone. Don't mess with their poor sweet little skin. It will clear up on its own and get back to normal in no time. Something about the hormones or the oil production in their skin, who knows what causes it, but that's totally normal. And number eight, eight. Sometimes newborns get goopy eyes. Okay, so the first time I saw this, I thought my kid had pink eye. It looks like kind of mucusy, like yellowish goop in their eyes. Sometimes when they wake up from naps, it's like glued shut. It looks really, really gross and crusty and probably bothers them, but it's not. What it is, is a plugged tear duct. So we have these little ducts on the inside of our eyes that help the tears flow out of our eyes. Um, and newborn babies, for some reason, get them clogged pretty often. And that means that the tears and the gunk in their eyeball just kind of builds up and creates this crusty stuff. So a couple of tips for that is to use a warm washcloth and rub the inside of their eye and that can kind of break it up and allow the tears to flow. And number two that my midwife suggested is actually putting breast milk in the eye. So if there's any sort of infection, breast milk is antifungal and antibacterial and anti all the bad stuff. So that's a recommendation. You might want to try that. Number nine is that their skin looks kind of weird for a while. So fresh out of the shoot, they have burnix on them, right? Maybe you've seen this, maybe you haven't. Sometimes the hospital wipes it off pretty quickly after birth, but it's this white kind of waxy, creamy stuff all over baby's skin, maybe a little bit yellowish. And then their skin has to kind of get used to the outside world. So usually their face is really soft, the inside of their hands and feet, but sometimes on the outside of their hands and feet, it looks kind of flaky and like, like an old man type skin. And as the weeks go on, the skin starts to shed. So like right now, baby Dean, two weeks old, has a lot of really, really flaky skin that's shedding off the top of his hands and feet. It's totally normal. I remember doctors telling me not to put lotion on them to just let it kind of shed off on its own and bathe them normally, but that it's just not a concern at all. It's just what their little skin does. And finally, number 10, this is not really a big deal. Maybe some people don't even notice it, but one thing that freaked me out for a while with my first couple of babies was how still newborns sleep. So when they sleep, sometimes they make little noises like a little hiccup or a little squeak or something that's super cute, but when they're really out, they sleep like the dead and it's really freaky. We actually took Dean to a movie the other day because newborns are great like pretty much anywhere. They just sleep on you. And a couple of times I had to check that he was breathing and like, I still feel his heartbeat, right? Cause he was so, so still just laying on me, so sweet. But just don't be concerned about that. As long as your baby is breathing normally and a normal color, everything is good. But just beware, sometimes they do not move at all and don't be freaked out. So I hope these 10 tips were helpful for you guys. Having a newborn baby is such a wonderful, miraculous time. It's also an exhausting time, an overwhelming time, and a time that can really freak out your mom hormones. So hopefully learning about these things can set your mom mind at ease and you have one less thing to worry about or 10 fewer things to worry about. But enjoy your motherhood journey. It is wonderful. Make sure to check out all my other motherhood videos on YouTube and also my motherhood podcast. It's called Outnumber the Podcast. You can find it on iTunes or any other podcast platform and we hope you love it. Bye guys. <laughs>